Hello there, welcome back to Anhai's channel. So today we are going to talk about the NVIDIA RTX 3070 LHR hash rate. So without further ado, let's jump to the video. So uh, here is my card, it's an EVGA RTX 3070 LHR model. It's the XG3 Ultra, so it got uh, three fans on it and at the back of the box you can see the LHR sticker right here can you see it okay this is mining ethereum on stock setting with T-Rex miner RDX 3070 okay so after we set the power limit we are losing hash rate yeah but we gain a lot more efficiency as you can see here we I guess we stabilize at 42 41 42 mega hash but we pull a lot less power from the wall so this is when I use T-Rex Miner and then this graph shows when I use NB Miner version 39.6 the newest one and I've got so sta very stable overclocking setting here these are my overclock And here, right here, you can see we're getting uh, almost 45 megahertz per second just by pulling 110 watts from the wall. That's, that's just amazing, man. So my miner has been running for a day and my settings over here is very stable as you can see I get 935 accepted shares with only one rejected and one invalid share let's go to our miner here you can see we still getting 45 mega hash by only consuming 111 watts of power look at those number that is just amazing NB miner thank you you guys are doing such a great job <laughs> you can apply this overclock settings on your RTX 3070 if you're running running the same Samsung memory, but I guess all RTX 3070 are using Samsung memory instead like RTX 3080 Ti Some of them use Samsung some of them use Hynix memory and From what I heard those Hynix memories are not as good as Samsung's so let's continue to our next coin shall we? Running stock, our RTX 3070 LHR are getting 26.02 MHz while consuming 239 watts. Kofpow algorithm needs a lot of juice and on the same time produce a ton of heat that you will need to get rid of your card. And this is my highest hash rate I can get out of this card. Before the NB miner version 39.6 update, I was mining Ravencoin with this card for about a month or so with this overclock settings. Zero core clock, 2600 memory clock, 75% fans, and 156 watts power limit. 
I've seen some RDX 3060 Ti that can reach same hash rate, the one that uses Samsung memory. If your RDX 3060 Ti use Hynix memory, some can only reach 28 megahash per second. I've been running these settings for two days and only get one in five years, so very stable. Next one we have Ergo Coin. On stock setting, we are getting 84 to 90 megahertz per second, pulling 160 watts from the wall. Now this is where things get weird. I saw people getting 130 megahertz per second plus 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 on Windows, but I can get past 110 megahertz. If you guys know what's wrong with my setting or my flight sheet, please let me know by leaving comment down below. And this is my overclock setting, zero core clock, 2500 memory clock and 150 power limit. Our last proof of our coin that I've test is Vero coin. This was when Vero coin or previously known as Z coin still using MTP algorithm. Stock setting 3.43 megahertz per second. Overclock 4.02 MHz per second. I use the same overclock setting just like the Ravencoin overclock, but I use too many chews. And since the hard fork, Ferrocoin changed its algorithm to FeroPow. Actually, FeroPow behave just the same as Kapow. I even apply the same overclock. And the results are basically the same. So now here we are at our hash rate list. Oh, by the way, you can find the link on the description below, okay? No worries. So to wrap things up, actually, I've tried some on Windows, the ones that with ones that have blue color so um, ethereum i've tried phoenix miner t-rex miner and of course our new favorite nb miner just from this list as you can see uh, nb miner is currently the best miner available in the market so just don't think. Make sure you use NB Miner for all of your LHR GPUs if you want to mine Ethereum. Try avoid other miner because man, NB Miner is just the best right now. You can see here, right here, right here. Just because we consume less juice from the wall, our GPU temp. This is the core temperature, not the memory temperature. Also dropped, uh, I would say significantly. I always use the same fan, 75%. And still, I got colder GPU and that makes me happy. <laughs> so, uh, and our second proof of work coin is Raven coin. Here you can also see that I've previously tried to mine Ravencoin with the old revision of T-Rex Miner and I guess I'm getting better hash rate. So make sure you always have the most updated software for your GPU. As you can see here, even though it is just like 0.1 difference, well that's 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 great like why not okay so as you can see right here the stock overclock is 26 megahertz per second and our best and most stable overclock is 31.70 megahertz per second with these settings okay then we move to our next coin ergo coin here on windows i've tried yeah previously with the older revision i'm getting 
107 mega hash per second and on the newer version I've and on the newer version I got the same basically the same but I don't know some people can achieve more but I can so please please if you know the problem why I'm getting less please drop on the comment below is there something that I need to change maybe on the flight sheet I don't know or maybe I should use another miner so Firo coin Firo coin previously uses MTP algorithm and we're, we're getting 4.02 megahertz per second using this overclock and then just recently Firo moves to Firo Pal and it behaves just the same as Raven coins algorithm so just apply the same overclock and you'll get the same hash rate just find on watsomine.com for instance which coin is more profitable either ergo coin Firo coin raven coin or ethereum but currently the most profitable is obviously ethereum but you also need to consider that uh, some major ethereum pool doesn't cover your uh, doesn't cover your fee so just make sure to bring it into calculation if you want if you, especially if you are a small miner if you want to pay out from your pool to your wallet make sure that you also count the exact amount of the fee because sometimes it can just go off the roof it's crazy ethereum 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 network fee is just crazy right now so uh before i close this video i want to show you how my rig looks like and this is it and this is how my rigs my rig looks like this is uh the monitor i i just plug it off because i'm not using it as you know we are using high fos this is the EVGA RDX 3070 I just put it here and yeah I guess it's safe for for now I also add this uh, standalone fan attached to the motherboard just uh, I don't know it helps the airflow a little bit I hope so and this is my power supply it is deep cool dq 850 m v2 l it is 80 plus code rated this is uh unused riser and this is my second gpu it is amd rx 550 Ah, 570, sorry, 4 gigabyte. It is also mining Raven coin. But this is a very unique card because it can't mine Raven coin on the normal mining pool. It's, it, can, it can only mine on nice hands. I will make a video about it later. This is the hard disk that contains Windows. Uh, that's my SSD right there. And this is just a normal non-mining motherboard. It was it, it, it is just Asus H81M E. As you can see there are only three PCIe slots. And you don't need to buy mining motherboards if you want to start mining. Just use whatever main board or whatever motherboard you have. Whatever available on your house. Well, I guess that is our sneak peek of my mining rig. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen.